everyone, it's Fantasia. So I let you guys know that I'm going to be doing more videos featuring your guys' comments and to comment down below anything that would, you know, be great for a discussion video. And a lot of you guys have been voicing your concerns and, you know, expressing your disappointment about The Sims 4 right now, specifically not wanting new content right now for the game. So anytime I do a video about, you know, there might be a new pack coming or two new kits are coming soon or like, you know, different hints or anything like that. I am receiving so many comments from so many of you guys that are just like, no, no more content. And it's definitely been made very obvious to me that people do not want new content for The Sims 4 right now. And honestly, I don't blame them as much as I love new content, especially because I love, love, love the excitement of doing videos on like a new expansion pack or something. When that content is so broken and your game in general is just so broken, it starts to make that new stuff not exciting anymore. So let's go ahead and jump right on in to these comments. So the first one here comes from Simmer H. They need to worry about fixing the game first because I don't see anyone buying any of the packs. I never even bought the new one and still having issues, haven't been able to play since, it sucks. The fact that you haven't even bought the most recent pack, like Crystal Creations, and you're still having all these issues, I mean, people are having problems even since for Rent released. I mean, there's even some people who have been having issues since Growing Together, but like specifically for Rent, I just remember the amount of problems that started happening that have still not been resolved. So the next one, it comes from Miss Sims 2 fan. Love your name. <laughs> I have been waiting for a sale to buy the latest stuff pack because I don't think it's worth it to buy at full price with all the bugs that it's got. After seeing all the bugs and everything that people have been having, I agree with that. Like, I don't think it's worth the money. The pack itself, like, if it worked how it's supposed to, then I do think it's worth it. In my review, like, I really enjoyed it. But the problems that it came with afterwards that came to my attention, it was, like, kind of crazy. It's like, why even bother? Because if you get it, you might just, like, have all these problems with your game. So the next one comes from Commissioner Law Wonder. Consider this one a no deal. I'm not spending a five dollar a pop for kids to a broken game. I'm saving up to buy the expansion pack for police simulator called the Highway Patrol. I've been seeing a lot of people who usually would put their money towards the new pack or like anything sims related actually deciding to buy a different game. Even I have bought a couple different games that I usually wouldn't have because I just like needed some sort of refreshment. You know what I mean? So I'm actually curious. Comment down below. If you know you put aside a certain amount of money every month or whatever, maybe every couple months, whatever it is, to buy like something new for The Sims and you decided to go ahead and get a different game. I really want to know. So this one comes from Second 7 Home 7. I will not buy it until I know it's not broken. This is a comment that I've been getting over and over and over again. Like the amount of times I've seen this comment is like kind of alarming. I've been waiting for this to happen though. You know, a lot of people say, stop buying the packs to like show like, hey, we're not going to purchase your packs because the game's so broken. A lot of people say like the reason EA doesn't fix stuff is because we will buy it anyways. And it seems like now finally more people have stopped purchasing. Obviously, of course, there's always going to be people that buy the stuff. And you know, I don't plan on just not playing. But if you are someone that has so many issues where your game is busted, not buying any more packs until your game works again could actually be a good thing. This one comes from Holy Guacamole. No more. They need to fix the EA app. The Sims 4 and all the packs first. I'm so mad. I really was wanting the Realm of Magic game pack and I bought it since it was on sale and it refused to download. I cleared the cache for the EA app, restarted the app, repaired the game, redownload the Sims, repaired the Sims, restarted my computer. I've tried everything and in the end, I had to get a refund on it. I wanted that pack so bad. They need to fix the app and the game first. That's crazy. I actually have had problems where my new pack is not downloading. I have had that happen. But for me, the fix was actually just reinstalling the entire game and it worked. But I guess sometimes that doesn't work. Comment down below if you've had that happen. Simmer Gamer T says, what? No, I want the game fixed. Not get ruined even more with bad glitches. Yeah, every single time I mention like another pack coming or anything like that or kids, like this is the response that this is what people are saying. And I think this shows a lot like 
like I said, like I will always see comments like this here and there, but nothing to this extent. Diane says, I really don't want any more releases. Just got my game fixed. And then Kitty in Shadow Hobby Room says, I won't be buying till I know it isn't broken. And then R-U-K-S-X says they need to fix the game. You see, there's just this pattern like with all my comments. Hey, it's Chrissy says, I hope they don't release anything else. My toddlers in Creatism look insane. I took everything out and it's not any of my mods or CC. Every time I try to make a new toddler for a family, they look messed up. I wish I could post a picture on here to show you. I seriously wish YouTube would. I understand understand why they don't do it because who knows the pictures that would be posted in the comments but wouldn't that be so cool <laughs> because sometimes like you guys are trying to show me something you're talking about in the game and I just wish I could see and sometimes like I'm trying to reply to you guys and like I can't explain what I'm trying to say and like a picture would be so helpful but anyway I did see people having problems with toddlers but I thought that if you know they just take out all their mods then the problem would be fixed but it looks like some people are having issues even when they completely take their mods out and everything so this comment comes from Kirstie Jade. I'm hoping more party stuff, but the bugs in the game needs fixing before they release any more packs or kits. That's my honest opinion. I've been getting a lot of comments like this too. Like, you know, excited for the kit coming that seems to be party related, but honestly just not vibing with the thought of even getting the kit because the game's so broken. So this one comes from Alicia. Right now, I just want them to fix the game. Claudia says, I hope not. We want bug fixes. I haven't even bought the last stuff pack because it's so broken. Broken. So yeah, again, we're seeing this like a lot. And then Janae says, I hope it doesn't have glitches. That is the last comment. You guys, this is uh, what my comments are filled with over the last little while. And I'm sure there'll be more on my last few like discussion videos and stuff like that. I also really want to know if you, if, how many of you guys have actually stopped purchasing the Sims packs? I'm curious, like I'm wondering if there's been a decrease in sales or not, because Sometimes there really isn't. Like, you know, uh, everyone will be upset with the game and stuff, but there really isn't any sort of decrease in sales. A lot of people say that is why EA never changes. And it does make sense because at the end of the day, they are a business and they're going to do what a business does. They care about money more than anything, which sucks. I honestly miss how things were before. Like I mentioned in a recent video, my game is working right now, but that doesn't mean that anything going on is acceptable because a lot of people's games aren't working. And not even that, there's way more issues going on than even just bugs and glitches. There's been issues going on forever with, you know, the prices being too high for packs for less content. The packs having no depth, too much content releasing when the game's already so broken. Like there's just, there's a lot going on. Not to mention that The Sims 4 has just been going on for too long. Even those of us who love The Sims 4, like myself included, it has been running too long in terms of like, there's only so long you can run a game for and release content for it before it's like unplayable. If the engine was better, it might be a different story. But the way the engine is and everything, it's just... It's starting to get to a point where it's past its time, I feel like, and they keep trying to like modernize it to like work in 2024, but I don't think it's going to happen. I said this before, but I really think they're going to leave The Sims 4 off super broken. That kind of happened with The Sims 3, but not to this extent because in The Sims 3, I mean, people can still go back and play it to this day. <laughs> so yeah, but anyways, you guys, I just wanted to feature some of your guys' comments. If you guys want me to talk about anything else, definitely comment down below. I'm all for, you know, speaking about the problems going on and everything in the game right now. But yeah, I hope you all enjoy this little discussion video. I hope you guys are having an amazing day and I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys. The